Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we are going to look at how to make uh, track diagrams or track boards on the central station tree. Uh, it's actually uh, something that requires a, a lot of patience, uh, especially if you've got a large layout. It actually takes uh, quite some time to sit and paint it. However, when you have gone through the motion and, and spent the time on it, it's actually extremely useful. Uh, because the uh, track uh, diagram is uh, actually uh, interactive, so uh, whenever you uh, press on items on the screen, they will actually change. So as an example, I can press on the uh, turnout down here, and you see it changes. I can click again, it changes. I can click on the uh, turnout next to it, it also changes. Um, I can also uh, click on the um, signal here. Now this is a multi-aspect signal, so it actually has three aspects. So when I click on it, it comes up the choices of what I can do. And as you can see, I could uh, select the uh, slow here, for example. And the signal changes. And I can change it back. And the signal changes. So all in all, it's uh, extremely useful when you finally got the uh, track diagram on the central station tree. Uh, before we start, I would like to uh, show you uh, one useful tip with the uh, Central Station Tree. Um, you can uh, make your track diagrams uh, by uh, touching on the screen uh, and everything you see in this tutorial uh, you can use uh, by touch on the screen. However, you can also uh, connect a mouse and a keyboard to the Central Station Tree. <clears throat> this makes it a lot easier uh, to actually draw and so on. If we look at the back of the central station tree, so I got here uh, the uh, picture actually from the uh, short tutorial of the uh, central station tree. You see kind of here in the center, there's a two white USB connections. Um, do notice there's a third one here that's black. Don't use that one, but there's two white ones here and uh, they can be used for connecting the uh, mouse and the keyboard. So if we look at how that is connected, so here's another picture. You see the two ones here, uh, the white ones, you can basically connect a mouse and you can connect a keyboard. Now it doesn't need to be wired as here on the, uh, on the picture, it can of course also be wireless. But if you do that uh, and connect the mouse and keyboard, it gets a lot easier to actually draw uh, and enter a lot of data on the screen. Um, you can do the same using touch on the screen, however, it requires a lot of patience. Now, before you get started on uh, making your track layout, make sure that you have uh, all your accessories uh, already in the accessory list. Um, in order to find the accessory list, remember to uh, pull down the green button uh, in the top. And actually, when you pull it down here, you can already see the accessories. Uh, let me go in and edit them. So I hit edit, edit uh, article list. Um, you have all your accessories and articles in here. Uh, now you need to make sure that all of these are actually correct uh, before you start uh, drawing your layout. So if we look at the first one here, it says uh, Weiche, which is turnout in, in German. Um, you need to make sure that that one has a good name you can understand and it, to make sure that it actually looks correct. So what I usually do is, you see here at the bottom, this is address one. I always uh, name my turnouts according to the address. So in this case, I will click the name. Um, uh, the keyboard pops up. We can uh, delete the name. I call this T for turnout, and this was uh, number one. All right. Um, I could do that uh, over here with this one as well. You see here at the bottom, the address is 4. I go in, I change the name to T4, okay? Now I make sure that the, um, the, the uh, turnout is actually pictured correctly here. So in this case, you can actually see it's a left turnout. Uh, but it could be that in real life it is a right turnout. So when I got this one selected, I can go down here at the bottom. I can click on right instead. So now it becomes a right turnout. Similarly, it could have been that this actually is a double slip switch. 
So you need to make sure it looks correctly and you need to have it named correctly for the turnout. In the same way, I would do the same thing for the, um, for the signals. So if we go down to this signal here, you see it has a name. However, this one has address 23. What I usually do is I will name this S for signal and then 23 for the address. So now we got this one here. Uh, maybe it has a distance signal. Maybe this up here is a distance signal. Um, in that case, I would actually make sure that it first of all links uh, to the other signal here. So you go down at the bottom, you see the home signal, you link it to the S23 uh, or signal 23. Uh, in this case, I wouldn't name the signal according to the address, but rather that this is S23 and then it's uh, the distance signal, corresponding distance signal to it. So that means now I can see here I got S23 and here I got S23 with the distance signal. So I would go through all of these and make sure they all have good names so you can figure out what is what. When making a track diagram on the central station tree, there's in essence uh, two different uh, types of uh, track diagrams. Um, one is the uh, control desk, which you see here, which is a little more crude uh, and squared. And I believe originally uh, this came uh, for backwards compatibility to the uh, central station two. Um, then there's the other one. Um, if we change to that one, that's the, uh, the panel. So it looks like this. As you can see, um, it gives you more flexibility and it looks nicer. So um, all in all, I will uh, show you uh, how to uh, use both and actually they um, uh, behave uh, in much the same way. But I would say I prefer actually uh, the uh, panel which you see here. Let's uh, start by uh, making an example with a control desk. Uh, so the first thing you want to make sure of is your central station is in uh, stop mode. You don't want to accidentally trigger some locomotives or turnouts or anything like that on the layout. Plus, it might take you uh, hours to actually sit and design this and, and you don't want the layout to be powered in the meantime. So um, first you uh, pull down the green tab here at the top. Um, I'm just going to pull it down so I can see one line of accessories. Then I can go into edit and then I can choose the edit uh, trackboard page. This is where you make your track diagrams or your uh, trackboards. Uh, now you see an extra panel comes up here. So uh, this panel is uh, actually a floating panel so you can grab it out here and then you can move it around as you see fit. That will become uh, useful later. Um, now, uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, in this uh, track uh, editing uh, panel here, uh, we can go in here where it says track diagram area and there's a plus. So now we can make a, a new uh, uh, control disk. So here I can choose add control disk. All right. I give it a name. So I'm just going to call it CD for control disk. And now you see the screen actually got populated with a new uh, control desk. All right, now I'm going to move this uh, slightly out of the way. And um, as you can see here, the uh, central station uh, tree screen is not that big. So you constantly have to move things around to actually be able to see uh, what it is you're doing. So I'm just going to try and move it as far to the bottom of the screen here as possible. Uh, then I'm going to choose uh, two turnouts. So the idea is up here from the accessory list, I can basically go ahead and find whatever turnouts I need. And then I basically just drag and drop them. So I will take here the uh, first turnout here, my uh, T201. Uh, then I'll take my uh, T202. Uh, and now you see they're already uh, on the screen. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Uh, however, you saw that the 202 here might not uh, be in the position I want. So I can click on this 
And when you click on uh, an item, there's multiple things you can do with it. Uh, you see it, it highlights here. There's a little handle up here with a couple of arrows. I can actually use this, oh, sorry. I can use this uh, and then basically I can just turn my turnout around. So let me just turn it around. So maybe this ha is how I like it. Um, and now I can start connecting them. So maybe these are two turnouts uh, in a siding. So uh, now what I can do uh, with my turnout is uh, I can select it again. And when you select it again, you see there's some additional handles here. So I can uh, select this handle here and then I can drag it to the other turnout. And uh, when you see I get near it, the handles uh, appear again. Uh, a, a handle is highlighted and I can basically let go near that handle. So I'll try again uh, from the other turnout. Now I want to connect the other handle and then I can drag it over. And when the one I want uh, to connect it to is highlighted, then it will automatically connect it. So in this way, it's easy to uh, actually uh, connect and make track. The entire trick is first make your accessories uh, or put your accessories on the trackboard and then basically just start uh, connecting. Now uh, let's uh, try the same thing uh, on a panel. So again, we pull down uh, in the top green tab, pull down so at least I get one line of accessories. I go into edit, I go into edit trackpot uh, page. Uh, I find my track diagram slash area. And this time I'm going to choose the add panel. I'm got, just going to call this one panel. I hit OK. Um, you see the panel actually by default comes up uh, slightly uh, smaller. So uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, get rid of uh, the um, accessory list so I can see what I'm doing. So I just click on the little green handle. I want to move this uh, a little around. So I basically just uh, move it around. Now I can uh, grab the handles here. I can uh, make it bigger. So you see there's a resize handle here to the right of the area. There's a resize uh, handle to the bottom as well. And in that way, I can e easily uh, resize it. I go up here. I click on my green tab so it comes out again uh, because now I, now I want to start using it. Uh, now the panel uh, looks uh, slightly different. Where the control desk was a set of squares, here you see a bunch of pluses in here. So uh, the pluses are actually a grid where I can uh, connect to. So let me try and do the same thing uh, as I did before. So I find uh, the two turnouts I'm interested in. Um, let me just move this one out of the way. So you can see here I got turnout 201 and 202. I'm going to try and place uh, the uh, editing panel, well, a little out of the way. Well, even though it partially covers, you can still uh, drag out of there. So I want my 202. I'm just going to put that down there. Um, and then I'm going to take the uh, other one here. Uh, and as you see, they look very different now. Uh, again, I can click on them. You see the handles uh, comes up for connecting the track, but also the one for turning it around. So I turn it around. All right. Um, and now I can again uh, connect it. I uh, select my uh, turnout. I select the uh, handle I want to connect from, and then I basically go con drag it over to the handle I want to connect it to. Now, uh, what if I actually uh, connect it to the wrong one? Well, I can go over here. Now I click the, the other one here, the turnout here. Uh, I can actually uh, again click on this one here. So it already has a track connected to it. If I just drag it out and let it go, you see it actually disappears. So I can try and drag it again. And maybe even this time, let me show you. See, I actually made a mistake. But it tries to reroute the track uh, such that it actually will happen. However, that's not what I wanted. Oh, um, you see, sometimes you can get a little unlucky and grab things you don't want to grab. So a little uh, item came up here. I'll tell you about those in a, in a second. I'm just going to have it selected. 
I'm just gonna hit delete. It asked me if I want to delete. Yes. So I try again here. I click a little uh, away from it. Uh, you see it will still actually uh, uh, grab that handle there and I can drag it out. It disappears. We try and redraw it. All right, so we draw it like this. And now I wanna draw the other handle. It goes over here. And now you can actually see I got these two uh, connected. It got a slightly weird curve, but okay, I'll live with it. Um, now I wanna connect these two such that we actually get a circle around the two turnouts. So I try and connect this one here, and then I connect it to here. Um, and now you see everything kind of gets a little funky here. Oh, so that's absolutely not what we want to do. We try and drag it away. So the, the uh, challenge here is that the central station tree tries to be smart and route it where you want it to, exactly as you also see this track in between. What we can do is we can give it some hints on where to, uh, to um, route it. And that's called the track route. So I go up here under the add, then you see an, an extra line uh, pops up. Then I can scroll to the uh, right here and here I got the track route. Now, where I had my accessories before, you saw I basically just touch it and then I can drag it out and then it comes out here. However, for items here in the construction part, uh, when you have to click it first and then you can drag it. So in this case, I actually wanna put um, the route, uh, let's just say it up here, uh, and I wanna put a route over here, because then what I can do is from my turnout, I still wanna go from here, but now I wanna go to the little item I made out here, the track route. Oh, it actually didn't uh, snap it. We'll try again. So I, drag it up here, and then we let go. And now you see it connects there. I can connect this track route with the other track route, and then I can connect the track route here back down. And now you see I get a nicer circle. So these track routes are very, very handy for when you wanna actually uh, create a, a layout and make it look uh, exactly as, as you wish. Um, as a final thing, uh, also uh, do note that, uh, as you saw before, I can uh, select a turnout, for example. Now I can go up into the editing panel. I can hit delete, and then it disappears. But you see everything associated with it will also uh, be deleted. But what if I deleted it by mistake? Well, you can actually go up here to the undo, and then you can click on this one, and here you can uh, go and click on uh, undo delete elements, and now it actually uh, un undid that. Uh, in the same fashion, you can go up, and then you can keep on undoing for the uh, past things uh, you have done, right? So if I click undo again, this was what happened before I deleted. I actually connected that track, okay? I can actually go up again, and I could actually hit the redo now. So now I click on the uh, center one, and now it comes back. So the undo redo up here is extremely helpful. So uh, here on the table, you see uh, my uh, current layout. So that's basically the uh, one I wanna make a track diagram for in the central station tree. Uh, as you can see, there is a, a couple of uh, train stations and there's also uh, some uh, siding over here to the right. Actually, that's actually a small shadow station. Um, so what do I need to know in order to be able to draw this uh, in the central station tree? Well, basically, I need to understand uh, which turnout uh, is where on the layout, uh, which signal is where on the layout, and how are the tracks uh, in between them. So uh, what I would recommend is you uh, sketch out the entire layout and notice, uh, note down what accessories are there, what are their names and so on. Uh, you can do this on a piece of paper or as I've done in this case, I've actually drawn it in my uh, layout program uh, and then I have added the names in there. 
So if you look at it here, so down here at the bottom, uh, we got a train station. Uh, so you got the two parallel tracks. If you look here to the left, there's a couple of turnouts that are the lead into the train station. I've noted down the names here, which is a T4 for this uh, turnout over here and T5 for this turnout. Um, I've noted here in the train station the signals, so there's signal S8 and signal S25 uh, in order to get out of the train station. And uh, in the similar way, I have noted the names of the turnouts after the train station over here to the right, which is basically T121 and T3. Uh, so in this fashion, now I have a reference such that I can at all times uh, look at this uh, for when I need to draw the uh, track diagram. Okay, so I go uh, back to my uh, central station tree. Uh, and now I want to create a panel uh, in order to start drawing. Again, I pull down in the green. I make sure at least one line of my accessory list is visible. I click Edit, Edit Trackboard Page. Now I go up in the uh, Track Editing um, panel here. I go to the Track Diagrams less area. I click on this one. I say Add Panel. So this is my uh, Abu Dhabi. A8 layout, all right. I make some room, I move it around here, I resize it so it fills out the entire screen by grabbing the handles to the right and to the bottom, all right. So now I have an area where I can draw. We open uh, the accessories list uh, again, all right. And um, now we need to. Uh, um, figure out where to start. So let's go back and uh, look at the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the plan. So uh, we have the uh, plan here. So the first thing I want to draw is the uh, station here at the bottom. Uh, if we uh, start by looking over here to the right, I got uh, two turnouts, uh, the uh, T4 and the T5. Uh, so uh, let's just uh, start with those. All right, so I'm uh, back uh, on the central station tree. Uh, and actually the philosophy for how you draw the track diagram is uh, start with putting on uh, your turnouts and then uh, connect those. Uh, if the connection isn't as you would like it, then use the track routes. So as uh, I illustrated before. So we need to uh, start with the uh, turnout T4 and T5. I'm going to drag uh, T4 onto the uh, layout. You see uh, when I put it on there, it actually uh, snaps uh, to one of the small uh, crosses here on the screen. Um, so I uh, turn this one. Uh, now, I got a choice here. I could make it look exactly like I see the uh, uh, layout on the table. However, that's uh, usually not uh, very useful and it is actually hard to do. So what I would recommend is typically you orient your turnouts uh, horizontally like here or vertically. So if I take uh, the T5 and I drag that one in, that one I would actually rather uh, orient uh, vertically here. Now, why do I do this? Well, first of all, it is a track diagram. It's not supposed to uh, exactly depict re real life. You can even see here the turnouts. If you go look at the real layout, these are actually curved turnouts, but there is no such picture. There's really only a picture of a turnout. Um, so this is uh, good enough for actually making a diagram. Uh, and I would even say if it was uh, more detailed, it actually might actually get confusing. All right, let's um, go back and look at the uh, track diagram or the plan. So over here we had the T4 and the T5. Uh, we see they need uh, to be uh, connected here. Then we got the uh, station and over to the right, we got the T121 and the T3. 
All right, let me go back to the central station tree. So we are back at the uh, central station tree. So I need to find the uh, turnout 121. Remember, you can always scroll up here uh, by just sliding your thumb along, or you can click on these little indicators down here. Um, so we got turnout 121 here. I'm just going to place it here. And then I needed number three, which was actually on the first. So we'll put that over here and we will turn this one. So now I got the basics uh, of my uh, train station as it looks on the layout. Um, yeah, it can be a little hard to get them adjusted uh, correctly. So um, let me just start connecting it up. So uh, we select over here the T4. I want the T4 actually connected to the uh, T5. And I want the T5 actually uh, to connect over to the T121. And then I want over here, I want the connector here to the bottom to connect up to the turnout way over here. Now you can already see, if I look at the left hand side, that looks reasonably nice. It looks a little weird over here uh, to the uh, right. So now you can go ahead and start uh, adjusting the items. Uh, you can move them around. So I click on this turnout here. I could move it down here. And as you see, everything just moves along with it. Uh, let me move this one down as well. Uh, this one I want to move a little down because now I get a nice uh, curve here. How do I do this one over here? I think I probably want it around there. You see it snaps to the grid. And now you actually have something that looks nice. Now, uh, if I start drawing down here, uh, you will see this will look weird. So that's not what we want. So I unhook this one again. Uh, and then uh, I want to do some track routes. So we go up to the editing panel again under the add. Uh, we select the uh, construction here. You know, you could be on board. Then you actually click on the construction. You scroll to the right, you click on the track route, and now you drag it in. So I'm just going to place it uh, here underneath the uh, turnout and the other one here underneath the turnout. Do notice a, a funny thing here. I cannot drag it down here. It doesn't want to snap down here because it's too close to the edge. All right. Now we uh, complete from the turnout to the track route. I... Uh, a complete from the track route or to the other track route and now I oh yeah you have to be careful sometimes you don't uh, get a hold of the correct thing so it's important first to click and now it's highlighted and then you can actually drag and snap and now you got it here all right so um, that means now we already uh, got the uh, train station at the bottom so uh, what's next so uh, now we are uh, drawn uh, the station here at the bottom. I will consider that the main station. Now we want to draw the uh, branch station we have up here. Uh, so again, uh, what we start with is the uh, accessories. So in this case, we got a turnout T26. <clears throat> and then we got a double slip here, the T28. And we notice that the, uh, this is an end station. So it will actually end in some bumpers here at the end. So let's go back to the central station tree. All right, we are back at the uh, central station uh, tree. So we need to find uh, turnout 26 and uh, 28. So I go ahead and look for this one. It's not there. Here we got them. I move my editing panel a little out of the way. You see 26 and 28. So this is uh, where it becomes a little tricky because I've already drawn something on the layout uh, or the track diagram, but I need room to actually place these um, turnouts. So let me move the editing panel a little way. I will move the uh, diagram a little around. So you basically just uh, touch it and move it or click and move if you've got the mouse. So I want to place a, a turnout. I'm just going to place it, yeah approximately here. So that's the T26. I need the double slip. I will place it uh, approximately here. 
uh, the double slip actually need to be turned slightly. All right. Um, now I'll move my editing panel again um, because now I want to do the uh, track bumpers so I can uh, go in and find them here under the add. Again, under the construction, you see there's a bumper here. All right, I'm going to drag that out. Oh, see, I did that wrong. I always do that. You have to uh, first click, then it becomes blue, and then you drag it out. Uh, it's blue now, so I can just drag. All right. I'm just going to make this a little smaller and try and move it uh, out of the way. Um, however, now I want everything uh, a little slanted here. And I don't necessarily want those bumpers exactly on the axis. Uh, but as you see, when I move it around, it actually snaps. So what do I do to avoid this? Well, I can turn off the grid here in the editing panel. So when I turn this one off, you see, I can actually move and place it wherever I see fit. So maybe this is where I want it. Uh, we are going to uh, turn it a little. I'm going to turn this one a little. Um, and now you see, I already kind of uh, got a sketch uh, of the station. Um, I do notice that I'm missing another bumper. So I click on it and I drag. Um, this one, it didn't snap, but I actually want it to snap. So we hit the grid again. And then I make it snap like this. All right. I minimize this one here. And now let's start drawing. So I first click the double slip. I click uh, this uh, attachment over here. I can drag it over to the bumper. All right. I click the double slip again. I can drag it down to the other bumper. I click the double slip again. Oh, I actually didn't get the one I wanted. But, uh, oh, let me just... Um, so something happened there um, and that happens a lot. You accidentally do something. Let's just hit uh, undo edit. Um, so let's try and the trick here is you can click a little below it. So further away from this one and it will actually uh, detect it when you click or touch there. So now I got the correct one. I want it to actually connect to this uh, track bumper. It's actually uh, positioned or turned uh, incorrectly. So let's just turn it around and let's make it level. That's about there. Um, and now let's uh, connect the double slip uh, with the turnout as well. Okay. And now you see we can kind of adjust uh, everything uh, to our liking. Maybe I want it. Yeah, maybe I want it there. It looks like uh, Maybe I need to see if I twist it a little. Now this uh, stretch become nicer. This stretch become nicer. Uh, now I just need this one here to look nicer. Okay. Uh, and now we actually uh, got it more or less like we like. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Let's undo it. Um, now, um, this is a, there's an inner circle here. So from this turnout T26, we need to go down to this turnout down here T5. From the T121, I need to go up here. Now, what we already learned is that it want to be smart and route uh, <clears throat> the tracks where we need to go. Again, I would uh, put in a, a track route here. So I click on the track route. I'm just going to try and see if I can move it slightly up here. So look at that. This, you need to do this. You need to always move things around so you can get to where you want to. So as a good tip. If you want something straight, uh, then use the track route and then place it such that it becomes straight. If you want a curve to be nice, then try and place it at the apex or the middle of the curve as well, the track route. So I would like it to be straight basically from the uh, turnout over to uh, approximately this turnout uh, here. I always try to make things uh, symmetric. Uh, I want to do the same thing to the other side. So I have some track routes there. Now I also want to see if I can uh, make it route nicely uh, when it goes here from the straight up here and down to below. I'm going to turn this one so it's going to be uh, vertical. All right. Uh, notice it's not always easy to get them exactly where you want. I'm going to place this one over here. Uh, I'm going to place it... Uh, um, and turn it as well. 
okay? And now I can start uh, connecting the bits. I'm just going to start down here. I click on the uh, handle. I pull it up to the track route. I click on the track route. I click on the handle. I pull it up. I click on the track route. Click on the handle. I pull it over. Click on the turnout. Cl oh, yeah, see, I accidentally clicked something else in behind. That was actually my accessories list. So let me just move this a little down so it's easier to get to. Um, I will uh, click on my accessories list because I might need it later. I'm going to click on the turnout. I'm going to click on the handle. And then I'm going to drag the handle over and so on. I basically just continue doing this and finally here to the turnout. All right. So as you can see, it's, it's already starting to uh, look nicer. Um, there's something over here to the left I don't entirely like. So what I could do is I could try and move things around so it becomes nicer. I'm going to move this one a little down. I'm going to take this track route and move a little back. And now you can see it already looks uh, a lot nicer than it did before. Most excellent. Um, I just noticed uh, something. I shouldn't connect it uh, to the T3. I should actually connect it down here to the uh, 121. All right. So um, I can uh, grab the handle here again. I can drag it away and uh, now it disappeared. So actually what I want is I probably want something more like this. I can drag the handle and then we can put it there. I want to put this one a little back. Okay. I always try to make it symmetrically when it's a circle, so you see that. So, much nicer now. The uh, next step uh, is uh, to draw the shadow station, so that's actually basically what I got here at the top. I imagine this is actually outside the layout and is not visible, so this is uh, my uh, simple uh, shadow station here with the three tracks. I look at uh, how I made it. I basically got a couple of uh, lead-in turnouts here to the left and a couple of uh, turnouts, uh, lead-in turnouts uh, to the right as well. If we look at it, it's uh, T1 and T202. Uh, and on the other side, it's T200 and T2. So uh, let's go over to the central station to draw this. All right, so we are back at the uh, central station. So now we need to uh, draw the top part. And as you can see right now, it's not easy to get to. So let's try and move things out of the way. I'm moving the editing panel. I'm moving the track uh, down. So there will be room to actually draw uh, the top part here. Uh, and now we need to find the turnout. So the first turnout I need is actually the T1. I'm going to drag that over here. I'm going to position it uh, approximately uh, and turn it approximately like I think it needs to be. Then I needed the T202, so I go and find that. That's this one here. I will do that. I will turn it around here so it's very close to uh, the other one. Um, okay. And then uh, to the other side, we first have the uh, T200. So I'm going to drag that one in. I'm going to align it so it's uh, at the same height as the T1, um, which is easy when it snaps to the grid. All right, so, okay. And then we need it, I believe it was T2. So we have that over here. So we drag that in. Okay. Oh, oh I accidentally uh, connected those, uh, which was not what I wanted. Oh, let me just turn it here. Okay, so this is the one. I don't want those to be connected. Okay, um, now I need some uh, track routes uh, to make sure. That's the way I make sure we get some uh, straights in here. So I go under the add. I make my panel a little more visible. Under the construction, I find the track route. I make sure it's selected. Now let's make some track routes. There was three parallel tracks here in the shadow station. So I'm just going to drag them out here. I think this is uh, approximately where I want them. Okay. 
I'm gonna make minimize this. I'm gonna drag it a little out of the way. Okay. Now we can start uh, dragging it. Although I can already see if I look at the um, at the top. Oh. Uh, the top track uh, route here, it's actually very close to this turnout. So I probably need to move the turnouts down a little. So let me just move the turnouts down a little. All right. Um, noticed an interesting thing when I moved this turnout down close to the other one. Um, let me just click here. They actually automatically connected. Uh, fortunately, that's actually where I wanted it to be connected. But be careful with that. When you move accessories close to each other, it will try to auto connect. So the central station wants to be smart and auto connected. I will put these um, to the same place, the same side. Here it actually did not auto connect it, interestingly. Now we start uh, connecting everything. So we click the handle, connect it to the route, uh, across. So we get a nice straight here with the track route. And then we collect it to the turnout over here. We do uh, the same thing for the next track. All right. Remember the rhythm is always uh, click on the item, click on the handle, and then drag and connect. Again, click on the item. Ooh, I got the wrong handle there. You see now something went screwed up. We go back to our undo. All right. We go down to the turnout. We grab the handle, drag it, uh, click and so on and then we grab the handle okay it's over there now you see it looks a little weird here so maybe i need to move the turnout say even further down okay let's just move it down like this okay see now it looks much nicer let's do the same thing to the other side okay here and here all right and this time it actually snapped those two together Excellent. Now we just need to uh, connect the last here. All right. Cool. And uh, now we basically uh, got our entire uh, layout. So uh, let's try and go out of the uh, track editing. So we make sure we can see our accessory list. We go out of edit here. I minimize this one here and uh, now I can move it around, but marvelous. I got exactly what I wanted. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, to add the signals. Uh, now, I don't own that many signals. I basically only have four signals, so I, I placed them uh, where it could be interesting on my little layout. So if you look here at the bottom, uh, at the main station, I got uh, S8 and S25 placed here. If you look at the entrance over here from the right uh, to the station, I got S23. And then uh, whenever you leave the main station here and want to go in uh, just before the turnout into the branch station here, I got the S17. So let's uh, go ahead and add that to the uh, central station tree. So I'm back with my layout here again. I need to uh, pull down in the green tab. And I need to go into edit, edit uh, trackboard page, because now we want to place the uh, signals. And the first signal I want to place, uh, which is uh, down here, is the uh, S8. Um, so we have the S8. It's actually hiding a little there underneath. Um, let me just try and see if we can move that around. Well, I'll just move it over here, the track editing panel. Again, it's an annoying panel. It's always there. Wish we had a... A uh, hundred inch uh, screen on the central station tree, but fortunately we don't. So here we got the S8. Same fashion as the turnout. You basically just uh, drag them in. You see it appears. I'm just going to put it uh, close uh, to the uh, track. Um, what you can see here when I select it, it's got a little uh, handle here. Um, so actually what I can do is this little handle will actually make it snap to the track. So if I get it over here and then I drag it over, then you see now it actually snapped to the track. When it's snapped to the track, I can turn it as I want to. And here's a, a, a little tip. I like placing it such that it looks natural from the direction the train is coming. 
So the signal is actually uh, for trains that comes over here from the left to the right. So as it is now, they would see the back of the signal. So let me just turn it around. All right, so that's like this. And now you see it's still snapped. You can barely see that here. And now it's uh, uh, turned around. All right, so then we have the next signal that we want uh, parallel to it is the S25. Let's go find that signal. We have the S25, we have that here. We do the same thing. We drag it down, we click on it, uh, we turn it uh, to approximately how we like it. Uh, and then we make sure that it snaps. I think it will snap here. Yes, here it snaps. And now you can see we got the uh, two signal uh, snapped on. Um, and this one is actually uh, correct now because it's actually from the trains from the right or from the left. And uh, one thing maybe I did a little wrong, maybe I should actually take this one here and place on the right hand side. If you remember from the signal series, uh, when we are talking uh, German signals, they always place to the right. However, however, when I do that, I can't see the name of the signal. All right, the world is not perfect. Let's try and move this one a little. So I'll move it so it snaps a little further ahead on the, on the line here. All right, so now I can better see them, even though they are actually uh, parallel. All right, then we have uh, the other signal. That was the S23 signal. So we have that. Where do we have S23? Or maybe it was, oh, there it is, uh, the S23 signal. Uh, again, I want it to, uh, to snap. Um, okay, it's snapping here. It's actually uh, from the other direction. And I want it uh, to the right of the track. All right. Um, maybe I need to move it a little down. Can I move it down so it's here? Uh, oh. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Um, when you grab the uh, signal itself, you can actually see which uh, track it snaps to. So let me just uh, try that with this one down here because I didn't think it got snapped. See, you can actually, um, no, I doesn't want to do it. All right, cool. Well, I got it snapped here, so that's fine. Actually, the correct snapping, exact snapping to the track will not become important till we do automation. So. Um, for now, we are just drawing it, okay? And then we are missing uh, signal 27, sorry, 17, 17. We have that here. It's actually, whoop, yeah. Now I need to make room on the, uh, on the screen so I can put it the right place. It's actually situated here before the um, turnout. So here we got 17. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to turn it as well. So, okay. And then I see if I can snap it on. It snaps on nicely. All right. So now we got all the signals as well. Yippee! Now, the final thing I would like to do is actually uh, decorate my uh, layout a little so I know where the stations are, for example. All right. Let's uh, find the main station uh, down here. All right, um, so up here in the editing panel, what I've done so far is the selection you see here to the left. I've used the one uh, with a finger with a small circle here. Now I want to go down to the one with the square. So now I can select items in a square. All right, so what I want to do is I want to mark this basically uh, as a train station. So I'm just going to go ahead and then I'm going to make a square here. Um, I let go of this square. You see, I can actually use this for actually selecting and deleting, but that's actually not what I want to do now. But now I made a square. I can go up in the editing panel again. I can click on the track diagram slash area. I click on this one and then I uh, click on create area from selection. Um, so now I can choose the color of my area. Uh, and you see there's multiple colors uh, to choose from and I can uh, and I can choose give it a name so I'm just going to choose orange here for my area and I'm just going to call this the uh, station um oh sorry 
I should actually write up in this one here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write here. Um, station. All right. I accept that. It says station. And now you see this is actually marked in orange and it says station here. Excellent. Let's. Um, oh, now the challenge is when I'm in this selection mode, I cannot move the map. So I need to go back in the other selection mode. So the hand with the finger with a small circle. Now I want to do the same thing for my branch station. So I make sure I got my selection on the square and then I can, uh, oops, yeah, I got a hold of this one instead. So let me just minimize that. So now I can basically just go ahead and I can select my branch station here and then I can uh, create area from selection. I'm going to call that branch station. I'm also going to give it uh, orange because here on this layout, everything that's orange is stations. So you got that here and we go back choose the uh, normal uh, selection because I also want to highlight my uh, shadow station. So I'm going to select that here. So all of this, I'm basically going to consider the uh, shadow station. All right. Oh, you see, it didn't select these ones up here. Um, I think that's okay. Let's just try and create the area. I'm going to call this a uh, shadow and um, just shadow. Hey, I'm just going to keep the gray. And now you can see this is marked. So, uh, Really, really nice. That makes it easier. Now, uh, remember that the uh, track diagram is uh, interactive. So if I take the uh, central station out of stop mode, uh, again, I can go ahead and I can change the uh, turnout. So I just click on it and you see it changes. I try again, it changes. Uh, I can click on another turnout. Oh, it didn't change. That's probably because it's uh, out of sync. So if we look at the uh, video, yes, indeed, it's out of sync. So we click on it again and now it's back in sync. So what you can risk is if the, um, if the turnouts have been changed without the knowledge of the central station, then they're not entirely in sync. All right. We go back to the signal here. Also, we try this one and we can put it uh, in slow. Excellent. Um, we can change it back. So now it's stopped. So now we got a fully interactive uh, track diagram. Yippee! All right. Um, so you might uh, notice that things look a little different right now. I actually accidentally powered off my central station tree uh, and lost uh, the entire uh, track diagram. So I had to do it again. So this is a very, very hard lesson. Um, and by the way, uh, you noticed I kind of drew everything first by the station, then the brand station, and then the shadow station. What I would highly recommend is when you're doing this, because it's so much work, do save regularly. So uh, potentially you've been drawing some of the station, you were happy with that, save it. You added the brand station, you were happy with that, save it. Now, how do you save this? Well, what you do is you pull down in the, in the green tab at the, at the top. So I already did that. You go to the system um, then you go, uh, if you are on this setting page here, you just uh, click system and then you come into the uh, system settings. If you are in here in, in a sub page and you don't recognize this, you can use the back button to go out and then you will see the blue here to the left. Uh, with the settings, you can click the system, you come in here and here on this side here to the right where it says data, you can hit save. When you hit save, you can back it up. So you can say uh, you can save your layout here. So this could be, um, oh, you click on it to give it a name. So this could be uh, my great uh, layout uh, version or part one. So I can write that in here. And then I can click on it and then I can hit OK. 
and then it's actually saved. And then you see the backup operation is finished, it tells me. So please go ahead and do that. Because what you can do later is you can click on the restore. Uh, the only thing you have to be aware of though is uh, when you restore, it will actually not only restore the track layout, it will restore the entire central station tree. So if you have uh, added some locomotives since last save or something like that, they will disappear. Uh, however, now you go in here, you can look at the uh, backup, we can scroll down and then I can actually here see my great uh, layout number one and I can hit OK. So I highly encourage you to do this. Now this is a relatively uh, small layout so it easily uh, fits on one screen and it actually easily fits uh, within the uh, panel I made. Um, however, we can actually have uh, multiple panels. Uh, so let's uh, try that out. So again, I'm going to pull down the green tab. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit edit trackboard page. Um, and now I can actually uh, make an additional uh, diagram. So if I go over here with track diagram area and then I say add panel, then I can create a new one. So I'm going to click on this one. I want to call it uh, shadow because I want to try and move my uh, shadow station over there. I hit OK. Now I get a new uh, uh, panel here. Um, I'm just gonna resize this one, make it bigger so I have room to draw my uh, shadow station. I can zoom out so you can do that on your central station tree by uh, pinching. So basically have your fingers uh, far apart, put them down on the display and move them closer together. You can use the scroll button on the mouse as well if you're using mouse and keyboard. So I'm just going to move that to the side here. Um, how did I actually move it to the side? If we zoom in we can see there's a tab here. You see there's a little cross with some arrows. If you uh, grab that one, then you can actually move it around. I can double click so it shows uh, the entire panel. I'll make it a little bigger so it fills out the uh, the screen. Um, now I can uh, go to the other panel by zooming to the side or panning to the side if that's what I want. I can also go up here where it said track diagrams and then I can uh, shift to uh, to uh, the panel here where everything is and I can p shift back to my new panel. So what I want to do now is I want to go into the um, to the new panel and I want to be able to um, I want to remove the shadow station from here and maybe one thing I should say is it is actually possible to uh, to um, to copy the items from one panel to another. Uh, I haven't been too successful with that, right? So I can select the two turnouts here. Oh, I can select a turnout here. I can go up to the track diagram area and say move selection to another. I've not been much successful with that. I actually suggest you redraw. Of course, that's unfortunate if you've drawn a lot. So I'm just going to delete these two um, Turnout from over here, so I select a turnout, I hit delete, I accept, I select a turnout, I hit delete, I accept, um, and uh, now I got um, the uh, shadow area here, I can click on that one, comes up for the settings, I can delete that one, and uh, now I would like to uh, select um, all of these uh, track routes in one go. What I can do is here on the editing panel, I can go and change the selection. You see now it's a finger with a small circle. I can change it to the square. Now I can actually draw a square. And then you see it selects multiple. Oh, I need to try and make the square bigger. So we try from down here and we make sure it covers everything. You see it selects multiple here. Uh, and now I can hit delete. And now you see really delete six articles. Yes, please. Uh, I did that. I'm going to delete. Um, oh, now I need to uh, go back to the selection over here with a finger with a small circle. Um, and now I can uh, delete these individually as well, the turnouts here. 
All right. So um, now what I want to do is I want to go over here on the uh, shadow one and I want to draw it again here. So let me just uh, quickly do that. I find my turnout. So the first turnout I need, I'm just going to move that out of the way. It's uh, the T1. Um, I need that one here. Oops. Then I need the T202. I'll just place it here. All right, I'll move that away. I'll turn it. All right. I'll connect these two. All right, it's connected. Then I will go to the other side and there I need the All right, I'll there I'll need the T200. I will place it at approximately the same height. Oops, this panel is in the way again. All right, and then I need the T2. And now see, I can afford to make more room because it's on its own panel, so I can make more room between all the things. Um, we need to remember to add the track routes again. So I'm just gonna add the track routes here. All right. And then I can start drawing everything. I'm going to connect the turnout to the first track route and so on. All right, I'm going to draw the other. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Undid edit. We uh, try again. I'm going to connect this one here. I'm going to connect this one. I'm going to connect this one. I'm going to connect this one here as well. I'm going to connect to the last track. I'm going to connect the track route here. All right. I see uh, it looks a little funny in the corners, so I'm going to move the things a little bar down. I'll try just with this turnout. That seems to be enough. All right, cool. So now I got the shadow station here again. Now what I can do is I can link the things together. I do that here um, under the add button here where we have all the bumpers and the track routes. There's also board links, so I can link to another board. So I want to go back to the other board here. I basically... oh. I need to remember, select, and then drag. And then you can see the connection point is over here. I would like to point it up there. So I turn the connection point so it's here. All right. I would also like it to connect to the other side. So I got the connection point here. Now I can connect that turnout with that connection point. I can connect this turnout with this connection point. Excellent. Now I want to go back to the other diagram because I want to make sure that I also got connection points over to the shadow station here. So now you see the uh, board links actually changed because now I'm on another board. So now I need to uh, link to uh, uh, the other boards. Of course, I cannot link to my own board. So I can select that again. I can drag it in. I make sure that the connection point is uh, down here. Actually, I'm going to move it a little up because I have can afford that with the space now. I'm going to make another one over here. And I'm going to turn it. And now I got the connection point here. I can connect. I'm going to connect the connection point here. Excellent. So if now we go out of the edit mode, the trackboard. I go out of the trackboard here. So now I can select the uh, AD08. Uh, so that's this one here. And now you see I got the entire trackboard here. Now the cool thing is if I just click on this shadow, it will actually automatically jump over to the other side. If I click on the AD08, it will jump back to this. So in this way, I actually got two panels now that are linked and I can easily get from one to the other just by touching on the screen. But don't forget, 
uh, when you're here, even uh, not in edit mode, you can click on the track board here and you can see the different track boards and I can easily go over to the shadow here. So this makes it easy if you have a large layout, it makes it easy to uh, jump around and jump around in your layout. Now the uh, final thing I would like to talk about is tunnels and bridges. So uh, let's just try and make uh, some uh, so I can illustrate how they look. Um, again, we pull down in the green tab, we go into edit mode, I go into edit trackboard page. Um, I would like to make a new uh, panel, so I go back to track diagram slash area. I click on this one, I click add panel. Um, now I want to make one, uh, let's just call it, uh, well, why not just call it mountain? Um, I guess it will be in a mountainous area. Um, we'll hit OK. We get our uh, mountain here. Remember, I can move it by uh, dragging in the uh, cross with the arrows. I'm just going to put it here in the corner for a while, and then I'm going to drag and make the panel bigger so we have some room uh, to uh, work on. I first drag the right, then the left. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little. Remember here, you can either use the mouse uh, or you can use the pinching uh, on the screen. So I'm moving my mountain panel over here next to I see it's not as big as the other one, so I enlarge it a little more. All right, and now I double click on it to zoom into the mountain panel. All right, now uh, let's start by um, putting a turnout on there. So I open my accessories list. I have here a turnout. Let me just use this one. Um, I close my accessories list again. Now I go into my edit panel over here under add. Uh, remember here where I had the bumper and the track routing, there's actually additional interesting things in here. For example, uh, there's a tunnel. So I, I can uh, take this one, remember to select it first so it turns blue. Then you can um, put it on the, drag it on the track board. So I would like my, uh, my turnout actually to be inside the tunnel. Um, so I will put a tunnel opening on each side. I will make sure here to turn it around. Uh, and what you will notice here with the tunnel opening is the light gray is outside and the dark gray is inside. Um, I would actually like, since it's a turnout, for it to actually be able to come out uh, to different places. So I'm going to turn this around here. Yeah, everything gets a little congested when we have that panel and then um, then I will start uh, connecting it all together. I will take this one here, select it, drag and drop it there. Doesn't look too nice so I'll move it a little. I'll take this one here and then I'll take the other connector and then I'll connect that one. I'll take the connector here at the front and connect. And now you see everything that's within the tunnel openings is dark gray. So that could be inside a mountain or under a hill and outside it's light gray. Now let's uh, try and make a bridge. Uh, for that we got the bridge pier here. There's actually several ways of making bridges. I like the bridge pier uh, because that gives you more flexibility. We select it, we drag it on. Uh, and now I would like to, uh, so this is where the bridge starts. Now I want to put something where the bridge ends. So I'll put that at the other side. I will turn it around. And now you uh, see where there's kind of like double lined around the track that's uh, on the bridge. And the single gray line is outside the bridge. I connect it to the tunnel. Now I can connect the two uh, bridge piers. So I select that one and I connect it, and you see it automatically uh, connects in between. Now what I can do is, I can also move this around, so maybe I move it down here, and now you see I kind of get an S-curve with the bridge. I can uh, turn this a little, 
and then you see it, it, it follows the shape. So maybe I want something like this. Maybe I want the track to loop back underneath the bridge. Um, now in order to do that, remember I need a track route. So I'm gonna take a track route. I'm just gonna put it here next to and see if we can make it loop back. I want it to go on this side of the bridge as well. So over here. So now you can see also how it looks uh, when the track goes underneath the bridge. So basically the bridge is here where you got the thick gray line uh, around the light gray line and then you can see a track going underneath. And now I can connect everything together like this. And now we get a nice loop back on itself. Of course, if I'm not entirely happy with the shape, I could use the track route to uh, make it even more interesting. Now, if I go out of the um, edit mode, that then means now I got a tree track, uh, track board. So I got the mountain, I got the AD08, and I got the shadow. And now I can easily uh, jump in between these uh, as I see fit. Oh, sorry. I will only uh, squee uh, squeeze it a little here, and then I can jump back to the other track boards. Uh, right now, the uh, mountain track board is not connected to the uh, other track boards. But what I can do is if we go back into the edit, I'll go to the uh, mountain track board. So maybe uh, here we would have something going back to one of the other track diagrams. Remember how we did that? Well, we go to the add. And instead of the construction here, we go to the board links. So now, oh. I remember to select first and then I can drag and then I can position it such that it's, uh, it works nicely here. So like this, and then I can basically connect that to that one. Now, of course, I have to make sure that it makes sense that this goes in uh, to the uh, other side as well um, and make sure that it actually, uh, there is three entrances uh, on the uh, shadow um, shadow track board um, and sometimes it could get confusing because it will always just say shadow wherever it is. Now as the final thing uh, let's look at how we uh, delete a track board. So in order to delete a track board you actually need to delete everything on it first. So let's try that out. We go to edit, edit trackboard page um, and now we want to select everything on this trackboard. We can zoom out a little here so we're sure we can see the entire trackboard. Um, then actually uh, my advice is use the selection up here and you can uh, use the selection with the square because if you do that you can easily just drag and select everything on the trackboard and when everything is selected you can hit delete. Okay. And now, um, to me, this is a, a bug in the central station tree because when there's nothing on it, there usually comes up a little trash can here in the center. Uh, however, what you can do is you can go out of edit mode, you can go into edit mode again, so edit trackboard page, and then you get the trash can here. And then if we zoom out more here, you will see when I hit the trash can, it asks me if I want to delete it. I say yes, and it's gone. If you liked this video, uh, please uh, hit the like button. Um, if you uh, have any uh, tips or tricks uh, on how to uh, draw track diagrams uh, or questions, uh, please put it below in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, do uh, click on the little notification bell uh, below the video so that you'll get notifications of uh, future videos on the channel. Enjoy!